<laughs> All right. All right. So we are in random.org circa 1998 to dictate our draft list. Mm-hmm. Uh, keeping in mind, we no longer have Lockie. So it is just the four of us. Mm, it's a four, so four we'll randomize draft. four times. All right. One. Brendan Her- Henry Noah Gemma. Shit. <laughs> uh, Gemma, Brendan, Noah, Henry. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. Brendan Henry Gemma Noah. Mm-hmm. Brendan Noah Henry Gemma. Oh no! Oh, you got the double the double pick. The boomerang. Yeah. I got the boomerang pick. Hang on. Yeah. Let me get this into random.org. Brendan Noah Henry Gemma. So we are doing it's Aussie, Austra- wine Aussie wine regions. regions. We have four regions that we can pick for our draft list. Okay. And, and Noah secretly is like southeastern Australia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, there will be no. There will be no like central Victoria because okay. it, that contains several wine regions. It's All right. Be, the it's only sub region. The only yeah. one that actually counts is if you say Tasmania, because according to yeah. Wine Australia, Tasmania yeah. is a wine region. And that's what we're going by. Whatever. But so is like South Australia is a wine region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like what Huon Valley would be just... No, no it's, it's according okay. to the Wine Australia map yeah. of Australian wine regions, oh, oh, Tasmania wow. is its own region. Okay. And Sweet. that is what All I'm right. going by. I don't make Fair. these rules. If the audience has an issue, they could take it up with Wine Australia. I'm sure Wine <laughs> Australia would love to hear from them. Get in line. Yeah. Um, and I feel like going last, I've not really given myself a lot of... Leg room. I've I've picked six, and I feel like they are going to be very quick to go. Yes. So it's a really I'm, good chance. Yes. I, mean, <laughs> I am in a lot of trouble here. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm first, aren't I? You are first. I am monumentally stoked that you brought up the home, the the one and only home of Dredgy. So Tasmania is definitely one hundred and ten percent mine. <laughs> Your yeah, first pick, be what you believe to be the best yeah. wine region in the country, Tasmania. Is ta- yep, yep. Do you want that's fair? Is yeah, like at the moment, at ago. the moment, I think it's it's certainly one of the most exciting, one of the most dynamic. For sure, um, it has consistent players that come onto the show, like uh, that are just absolutely stunning wines and the capturing. Best- like a lot of interest. Some of the best Pinots and Chardonnays coming out at the minute are coming out of Tasmania. Yeah, and a lot of people land grabbing. Um, Sean Smith, obviously, with Toll Puddle. Mac Forbes, I hear, has a, a small sort of thing down there. Uh, Burton Hand. Hand have just acquired land down there as well. And so there's there's a fair... Giant there's obviously steps. Giant steps. steps are doing stuff. Yeah. Really? It's, it's, yeah, that's it's, interesting. It's interesting to see a lot of Adelaide Hills producers grabbing land in Tasmania because cu- like climatically what's happening there now is what was happening here sort of... Yeah, it's sort of like ago. prepping. Like, I mean, I have my my secret Unico Zello play for this. Is like, we're mm. just going to gazump everyone. <laughs> we're going to gazump everyone and just go straight to where the land prices are cheap. Okay, the Aussie dollar gets you far, and it is one hundred and ten percent Chardonnay territory. If Bali. we're going <laughs> to Bali, <laughs> another island, New Zealand. Yeah, New cool. Zealand. Mm. They're New selling Zealand up. Pinot is yeah, man. Shit hot. And and honestly, to buy to buy a Pinot vineyard in New Zealand is a fraction of the cost of buying Pinot land in Tassie. Well, you're not going to exempt anyone now because you just hold the whole internet your business plan. <laughs> 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 All right, who's All number right, two? Henry. Number two, Henry. All right, so this is where I've run into problems in the past where I've started just drafting things that I want, not thinking about what you guys are going to take and what I can mm, potentially get sure. later. You're getting a reputation for that, though. Like, it's a good, pretty, pretty well-received yeah, reputation. Yeah, play with the straight bat. I'm not out here trying to win things. I'm just trying to be honest to who I am as a person. <laughs> but um, nice. I'm going to uh, keep it simple to start out with. The region that realistically has given me the biggest education in wine and gotten me to the point where I'm now sitting around doing a draft of wine regions. You think I'm going to the creek, but I'm not. No. I'm sticking in the Adelaide Hills, man. Hey! Like, it makes so much sense. Like, this is well done. the winery that I work for is in the Adelaide Hills. A lot of the wines that I drink are from the Adelaide Hills. Uh, it's one of the best places to go on a wine tour from my personal experience as someone who's done yeah. a lot of wine tours in South Australia. Sure. Um, keeps you honest as well with the amount of windy roads that you've got to come down on the way home. So uh, <laughs> it encourages responsible drinking and punishes and irresponsible <laughs> drinking. That's for damn sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking the Adelaide Hills. It's where all the cool kids are hanging out in South Australia. So nice. all right. that's my okay. per- all right. first pick. All right. Two big ones off the Noah. list. Noah. That's a good shout. Noah. All right. Well, like... Tasmania was going to be my number one draft pick. I reckon that was the, the cream of the crop in the draft. It was also as, my first pick. <laughs> yeah. 
it's it makes a lot of sense um but i think what this region i think it kind of goes similarly to where tazzy would go to it's like can produce a similar kind of suite of wines but i'm so scared doesn't know, have the I, kind of like financial going. capacity of tasmania but it has more versatility and that's the yarra valley Yara. Mm, yeah if you didn't pick that as your first i would be genuinely concerned about you Noah. <laughs> yeah. are you okay You're okay <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, it's, well, it's, okay. Got, it's got Pinot. It's got Chardonnay. It's got amazing Cabernet. Syrah there is fantastic. Sparkling wine is excellent. But then you can get into the other stuff, which is mm. like we're seeing Shannon, Sangiovese, and a suite of more exciting stuff as well. Riesling does really well there. Uh, Mondeuse. Saw Yara's some cool. Yara's, Yara's cool. Mac Forbes is planting a whole suite of varieties. The Shannon apparently is bonkers. Cool. See, that's it. All I needed was Shannon. <laughs> always, <laughs> ABC, always be Shannon with always you, man. Always be Shannon. <laughs> 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 All right. So on Gemma. to my first pick. And yeah. again, this is calculated. And I'm not I'm not picking for the audience. Mm-hmm. I'm picking for me. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm picking for me. Which means obviously based on where my tastes are currently, my first pick undoubtedly has to be Claire Valley. Well done. Yeah, yeah. All give well me done. Riesling and give me nothing else. Some of the best Riesling in the world. Well done. Is coming out of Claire. We've got some shit hot wines that have come out of Claire. Pollen Algevertz is incredible. Mm-hmm. Anything that touches Claire Valley soil is gold. It's it's an enigma. Like if you asked mm-hmm. any like German winemaker where in Australia they plant Riesling, they honestly would probably choose Claire Valley. For last. sure, mm. and it's the wine region I probably grew up visiting the most. It's most Aussie. Like you get For there sure. and it's just eucalypts. For sure, freaking everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah everywhere. man. Yeah. Like I always said, I was going to get married at Bungaree Station, which is just outside of Claire. Don't know why. I just really like it there. <laughs> So for that reason, I have to go with Claire Valley and hope they endorse my wedding, give me a sponsorship and pay for the whole thing. I'm going to say all of our picks in this draft so far, first round picks, pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, all deserving of the first yeah. round status. For There's sure. no yeah. reaches here so far. Which yeah. is why I'm I would be willing to trade with every single person within 100%. this first round. Mm, yeah. I would be happy to have any one of these players on my team. Which cool. is why I'm following up my cracker first pick with a cracker second pick in the Eden Valley. <laughs> wow, <me> okay. More <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Probably <laughs> one of the, like, I don't say it's correctly rated. I think it slipped into underrated status. I think... I think it it sh- shouldn't. It kind of gets associated with Barossa because uh-huh. it is in the grander sort of like region of Barossa. Uh-huh. But I'd actually put it even close. Eden Valley is closer to Adelaide Hills in many respects. Mm. For sure, it's 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 one of those really confusing ones because it is so close to the Barossa, but climactically completely different. It's so much elevated. It's so it's like much more. Four hundred meters, I think. Three high three hundreds. And that's why we get such good Riesling. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's, I think it's between 200 and 400, uh, Eden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's up yeah, up to sort of Adelaide Hills yeah. elevations. Pretty pretty impressive. Very cool, cold climate. Amazing Syrah. Mm. That lemony pucker Riesling. So good. Yeah. Noah, your second pick. Oh, shit. That's right. Um, okay. Fuck, we got Yarra. Um, all right, cool. Uh, let's go to another uh, all-star region. Going back to the home state. It's got to be McLaren Bell. Give For sure, McLaren. man. Well, yeah, done. well done. Good be crack. Done. Yeah. World class. Yes. Luciano is now the number one planted white grape there. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. It's And, you know, sticking to my true rule, always be Shannon. There's some great Shannon. There is some <laughs> great <laughs> Shannon. Yes, absolutely. 100%. That's awesome. And if I want to appease the oldies, like... We've got some classic Shiraz there. You can do that. True. That can do that. And then people are getting really experimental there as well, which I really enjoy from that particular region. So, not yeah, classic, you know, you know, Mediterranean, you mm. know, moderate climate, uh-huh. um, pretty awesome region. Yeah, mm. awesome. Nice one. Um, so my second pick, uh, I've already got the Adelaide Hills, which. Uh, you know, I can get my cool contemporary sort of new age alternate varietals and things like that coming out. And I think that the next step for me is to get something that's a little bit more traditional mm-hmm. and maybe something in the reds. Um, I could stay uh, here in SA because obviously we've got some fantastic uh, fantastic regions here in SA that do provide that sort of thing. But 
I think it's good to have a bit of dispersion. Like, sorry, in my head also, like I now own wineries in all of these regions. That's how I'm doing this stuff. Like, that's, that's, that's a good way. To, that's, that's a good that's way. How I'm thinking about. This. Wow. So you're just twiggy foresting this whole, whole yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, that's that's the way I'm interpreting. You're this. just Jeff so you've, Bezos. You've, 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 Adelaide Hills, and you've just immediately gone like, I now own Tappanappa. Tappanappa. Yeah, <laughs> not all of them, just some of them. Yeah. Um, and I had a look, and unfortunately, there aren't any wine regions on Hamilton Island, so I can't go that way about it. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go for the next best thing, mm-hmm. uh, which is, as far as I'm aware, the only off coast, well, ex- excluding Tasmania, which is too big. I'm going for Kangaroo Island nice. because I wow. think it's a fantastic tourist destination. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful vistas that you can get from your vineyards there. Niche vistas, uh, and I'm not going to lie, it's the number one. T- There's vistas. <laughs> there are plenty of vistas. You can make a, a- Windows B- XP background. <laughs> Always be vistas. vistas. <laughs> And as far as I'm aware, I believe that Kangaroo Island is like the number one tourist destination for people visiting South Australia in terms of like where they're visiting outside of but Adelaide. That what yep. it doesn't have that the hills does have mm. is proximity. The thing about the Adelaide Hills is you could drive 20k and go past 10 wineries. Yeah. KI, someone's got to be Deso, man, because you are trekking on a dirt road for 40 minutes. Mm. Dodging a kidneys trying to get to a winery. In That's KI. why I've got accommodation on site at my winery on Kangaroo Island <laughs> <laughs> with vistas. You know all your wineries because you own all of them now. Not not all of them. I'm just saying I now have a winery Dude, in Kangaroo Island. Dude, sorry about Island. the bushfires. That must have sucked for you. That's all right. We actually got a really good deal on some land after that. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot, of, uh, a lot of carbon rich soil. A lot of carbon. A lot of carbon. Rich not soil. a lot of koalas. That's all. <laughs> Who Not many koalas, no. Yeah, but they're clean. They don't have chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're reducing the rate of chlamydia. Oh, uh, shit. Ish. Um, well done. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yes, I am I am really... I'm getting invested, really, in these drafts uh-huh. because, like, now now I'm like, there is there is one and I'm so glad that you guys didn't. Like, there was... It was every chance that all three of you were going to pick this and Noah's like... He knows where I'm probably gonna go going to go with this. You're going to I think I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is so... For fine wine in this country, banger after banger. You were talking about going like coastal, and I was like, "Fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck." Margaret River. River Margaret yeah. River. Yeah. I thought you were gonna to go mugs, mugs, mugs. I thought you were gonna go Riverland. I thought that was gonna be an easy pick for you. Not while Margs is still on the board. No. Sure. Uh, you'd be, sure. you'd be crazy. You'd be crazy not to. Does this mean I get the next one as well? Yeah, you, yeah do. you do. Wow. And well, now you about, take Riverland. Well, no, no. Talking about things that make you go. Mm, Mm. Mornington Peninsula. Hey. Mornington Peninsula. <laughs> <Bastard>. <laughs> I knew I was going to cause Noah a lot of pain on this one. Nah, it's all good. That's all good. It's all good. Talk me through the Mornington Peninsula. I know bugger all about the wine from there. It's uh, Peninsula. Got it. It's it's the quality of honestly quality of Pinot is absolutely stunning. And uh, the quality of vistas. Uh, the quality is also of really good. quality of vistas is pretty good. Quality Do you guys of like not use vistas regularly. It feels like that's really vistas. put a handbrake on this conversation. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't look out my window and go, mmm, what a vista. It's because you're not living on a winery on Kangaroo Island. <laughs> I'll be honest, I kind of do that every morning though. Yeah, I but you at, don't go, what a vista. You go, oh, what a beautiful view. I go, I go. All those fucking rabbits over there are going to be dinner soon. That's what I go. Mm. But you uh, don't go. What, what a, vista. a vista! I reckon we should bring it back. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. It didn't go <laughs> anywhere. Hasn't <laughs> left. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yeah, but keeping in mind, you're a really affluent winery owner. You are someone who you have use vistas. the word vista. Have vistas. I already have. Yeah, I think vista. that's also the thing. If we're talking about affluent winery owner with vistas, Brendan is now the most affluent of winery owners. We have Tasmania. The Mornington Peninsula has the most expensive land of any winery. Correct. Owner. So you Correct. have you have it's the bonkers. most money per vista. I've definitely. I mean, I own all the wineries now. In in is that what we're doing? I now own all the wineries in Mornington. In morning to, I thought it was you had a yes. winery. Oh, having a winery. Yeah, yeah, having a winery in Margs, the Mornington, and Tasmania. I think yeah, You're loaded. that's. I'm pretty pretty You're happy. Loaded. I, I, I'm a little bit sort of leveraged into cool climate here, so I do need to sort of like yeah, global mm. warming's gonna fuck you, bro. <laughs> mm. Well, Your I mean, I just start coming at least Shiraz so. is in my yeah. future. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fortune comes. Not soon in my past. Hundred percent. All right, all right, they're my, so my two picks. So, on to your third pick. On to my third pick, all right. 
Time now, to bring up Google. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, not all is pre-prepared. Uh, what am I doing now? I'm surprised you haven't got anything in the north, you know. That's funny you should mention that. I was, I was <laughs> you know, like Kangaroo Island's beautiful, but it gets pretty chilly down here in winter in South Australia. So I'm looking at uh, some northern state wineries right. here. Um, and given that... <laughs> <laughs> He's, have you, do you know this? The, if you're going where I'm going, you know there's a winery that is literally a supercars driver's name backwards. A supercars yeah. driver's name. How do you spell... How, I don't know how you'd pronounce Hazelwood backwards. Hazel- <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Scaife? No, who is it? Scaife. T.E. Morris. T.E. Morris. Yeah, I'm not going yeah. there. Okay. Um, what am I taking with Victor? I was going to take a Queensland wine region, but I don't want Noah to fall off his chair, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, all of two wine regions in Queensland. Yeah, both of them. Um, da, da, da. <laughs> Peruse a list. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably take. I'll probably take the Hunter then. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Well, well done. From New South like Wales. Hunter Valley. So you have Hills, Hunter, and K-I. Kangaroo Island. K-I. Interesting. Mixed bag. Interesting. It is a Definitely mixed bag. catering towards the sort of nouveau boomer. Yeah, um, 100%. And nouveau boomer. <laughs> they do like their vistas. 100%. <laughs> uh, Henry's going new money, not old money. For sure. Yeah, yeah for He's sure. He's going that like mum talk, that new money. <laughs> Anyone who's watched Secret Lives of Mormon Wives will understand my reference, and I hope... Niches within niches. Mm. Vistas within <laughs> vistas, baby. Exactly. A little panoramic All here. right. Noah's second pick? Uh, third. Third. Third, third pick. pick. All right. Um, I am going to go for a like classic... Uh, not, no, 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 sorry. Kind of underrated cool climate region in the country, but it's starting to get a lot of kudos and press... Um, you know, sticking with Victoria, but getting a little bit cooler than the Yarra Valley. But there's some iconic producers out here. I'm going the Macedon Ranges. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So got, Macedon. Got, you know, Cobor Ridge. I got Curly Flat. I got some icons, but then that, like, the new school guys with, like, um, Josh Cooper and, like, Owen mm. Ladder producing stuff from here. I got, I got the Dark Horse. I got the, the Sneaky Black. Mm. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'd like to go to Noah's house for Cabernet one day. Hundred yeah, like percent Cabernet. Array. Yeah. yeah you're a year in Cabernet, brother. Like you know, come over whenever you want. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Well, on to my third pick, followed by my fourth. So to pick. recap, you have Clear Valley and Eden Valley. I do. I'm big on valleys. Valley girl. Yeah. I'm a valley girl. I'm the valley girl. Mm. Which is why I am following it up with. A bit of a dark horse, mm-hmm. but is coming out with some really cool, exciting stuff. Um, Great Southern in wow. Western oh, yeah. Australia. Right. Nice. Uh, and they're known for their Riesling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drumborg. Drumborg Riesling. Hell they've yeah, some, dude. They've had some really cool Rieslings yep. come out over the last yep. couple of years. Uh, looks like they're doing Single very well. Chardonnay is really good too. Yeah, Chardonnay's fine. I'm mostly mm. there for the Riesling. Um which is why I am following that up with Mudgy. Mudgy. Okay. Mudgy. Well, Mudgy. <laughs> Syrah. Uh, do they have Riesling in them? <laughs> you should say orange. <laughs> <laughs> so orange is on my list. Yeah, they have Riesling. Canberra, for Canberra. Canberra. Yeah. Riesling fox. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have, okay, Canberra. Canberra's on my list. I glanced over it. I thought Mudgy was a funnier word. Mudgy, mudgy was is a funny word. Yeah, but Canberra Riesling is so definitely like a, a miss there. For Canberra. For All right, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that. So I've I'll got Clare Valley, Eden Valley, Great Southern, Canberra. So if any of you ever need a Riesling for anything, I've got you covered. Or, or more coverings for my teeth. The amount of acid on those wines, man. Mm, zero. Yeah, enamel, who yeah, needs no, it? No more enamel left. I also own a dentistry business, so it's just putting money <laughs> in my own pocket. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 I love that. All right. Uh, Noah, your final pick. Oh, okay, what do I got? So I've got a re- rehash. I've got Yarra Valley for a lot of versatility. I've got the warmer region in McLaren Valley. I've got cooler region in... Um, uh, Macedon. Macedon Ranges. Where do I, where do I want to go? You, I there is go? something still on the table here that for this group in particular, I absolutely can't believe is still available. Like, Anything in Riverland? I am floored that none, like your whole business 
Unico is, is so heavily influenced by the Riverland and the why it's coming out. I of still it. have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you like don't yeah. give it away, <laughs> dog. I'm, I'm no, still if here. we're looking for you know, Riverland's got a lot of problems right now. It's got like you know, it's got an excess of fruit. Now there's frost. There's a lot of like right now. I'm not getting into the Riverland. I'm not investing in the Riverland. It's tough. Um, You've got to play the long game, what brother. I what I want. You know what? Let's. I'm. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna take a um, <laughs> leaf out of your book here, uh, Gemma, and I've, I'm gonna go for Crawford River. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> right just, just, just because that's there. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go Franklin River. Franklin, Franklin River. River. River is much better because then I get, yep. uh, you know, Franklin Estate, and then mm-hmm. there's a couple of other great producers out there. I've got that excellent Riesling dialed in. Yeah, um, sorry. And I'm not too far away from Mark, so I can go pop in there and visit. Ding, 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 ding. Franklin River, not on the Wine Australia list of wine regions. It is a wine region. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but it's, not, it's on not on the list. Is it, in, okay. is, it, okay. is it Denmark? No, it's not Denmark. What state is it? No, the WA. Southern, WA. So that's off the board. Okay, might so have to WA, board. WA, you have access to Swan District, Perth Hills, Peel. Peel. Geograph. Ooh, nice. Margaret River, Blackwood Valley, Pemberton, Manjimup, mm. and Ooh. Great Southern. Wait, I uh, took okay. Great Southern. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Oh, no, nah, screw it. Fuck it. Give me Gippsland. Give me Gippsland. Nice. Give me value. Give me nice. Value. And then I've got both Pat Sullivan and Will, Bill Downey. Hang on. Yeah. Let me just confer to my uh, list. Gippsland's actually a zone, <laughs> according to <laughs> White Australia. So. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's oh no, it's true. That's that's a good that, yeah. We're looking at the same but thing. At the sa- oh really? On the, <laughs> <laughs> on the same asterisk, it says Tasmania is a state. I know. I'm aware. It just says Tasmania is a state. Thanks, one Australia. Thanks for letting me know that Tasmania is indeed a state. Sure do be. Whose reference is that for? Theirs? Are they going to forget? Ah, oh, Tasmania is all the way down there. Could be a territory. Could be. It doesn't have territory in there. It's not. Yeah. It's not a name. Give away of the NT and the ACT. <laughs> hey, bugger. Yeah. All right, so Gippsland? Uh, yeah, Gippsland. Lock it with Gippsland. I put it in yeah. as... I got, I got my surf beaches. We're good. I put yeah. it in as Gips space lands. Gips lands. Gips lands. It's lands. Land. land of the Gips. Yeah, Gips land owns it. Gips. All right. All right, Henry. All right, I'm torn here. Uh, obviously, these these aren't going to be serious picks to wrap up here because I've run out of places that I realistically know what the wines are like from. Um so I'm torn between going with Gundagai purely because nice. of Slim Dusty song. Good, good wines out of there though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah legit. Um, Eden Road. And then there's, I don't know if you guys are familiar, there's this really famous clip of, it's an American sports talk show and the Golden State Warriors had like one of the greatest teams of all time. They had some of the best shooters ever. They had Kevin Durant, they had Steph Curry, they had Clay Thompson, all acknowledged as the best shooters ever. I love where this is going. And this bloke came on as a hot take and they're like, if you're if you're having the last shot taken by one person on that team, who are you gonna have? And he's just like feet of the earth on the line, aliens <laughs> pointing a big laser about to pull the trigger. Give me Andre Iguodala, who's this like wily veteran who no one would pick. So in the same vein, I want Langon Creek as my final pick because like oh well done. I'm so tied to it. It's hard to get away from. Yeah. Uh, I love Blaze to hell as we've covered. Numerous times on the show. Um, I'd love to neck a bit of Malbec right now, but I'm sticking on that German Riesling. But yeah, Lang on Creek. It's just it's just down the road from the hills. I'm not spread too thin there, so I'm running between New South Wales and SA for my four wineries. But Beautiful. Done, done, all done. I feel that this entire this entire time for not unintentionally, but I've I'm happy that it is unintentional, but happy that it's just happening anyway. That I've been trolling Noah. Because nabbing Margaret River, good move. Mm. Nabbing Mornington Peninsula, good move. Great move. Tasmania. I am so surprised that everyone slept on Beechworth. On Beechworth. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair chance. And so that will be my full choice. Macedon does my Beechworth thing. 
So I'm I'll, I'm happy with Macedon over Beechworth. Yeah. Good architecture so, in Beechworth. That's really all I know about it. Oh mate, amazing Nebbiolo, amazing Chardonnay, a lot of dry aged vines, not dissimilar uh, climate uh, wise to Adelaide Hills. Maybe a little bit colder, a little bit more elevated. Mm. Um, has the ability to do some amazing sort of gewurz and riesling at higher elevations. Very so, interesting. So I'm starting to pick up on something, mm. and it could just be sheer coincidence or i could be a genius and i've <laughs> cracked the code where places where there were gold rushes interesting seem to do really well with wine adelaide hills woodside in in particular a mm-hmm. lot of gold that's a that's a a, that's a pretty pretty there. pretty fair comment. A lot of gold in Beechworth. But a there's lot also of gold like, out the back of like Victoria, Ballarat, through the mountains there. I don't think correlation is causation on this this front. There's a lot of gold in Australia. Like you, you'd also say the same thing that there's shitloads of gold in Port Hedland, but you probably wouldn't plant the old Vitus vinifera out Tasmania, that way. Gold in Tasmania, I think. You know, we, had a, we had a dope Pinot Noir from Ballarat one day, didn't we? Yeah, we did actually. Yeah. Ballarat grows some. Gold in yeah, Ballarat. a lot of gold yeah, in Ballarat. Like, Adelaide Hills is heavily gold mined. What I'm trying yeah. to say is, is there better soil as like as a result of the gold? Are we getting stronger metals in the soil, and that's therefore better uh, this, better this for is, the vines? This is probably one of the most insightful things that you have said in your two years <laughs> here. I'll be honest. This really? is like a legitimate like. Because it's, I don't think we've ever actually brought this up about the gold sort of connection. No, have you ever considered that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else to say about not it. Not necessarily like all Australian wine regions have the golds with them. Hang on. Like, but like golds meaning the like mineral quality of the soils, that makes sense. But not necessarily like all Australian wine regions that are like iconic have a gold link. I haven't thought about that, which is really cool. I'm pulling yeah. up two maps side by side. Here we have Australian gold deposits. Holy shit. And here we have Australian wine regions. We'll put graphics up so the audience can see. This is like legitimately like interesting. They're the, they're the same. It's, it's the same similar. zone. It's that sort of eastern, lower, like southern eastern coast This is borderline. I think you found a conspiracy theory. Like revelationary. <laughs> Am I a genius? I think I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I say you, you've definitely noted something that we have literally never really truly spoken about well, ever. All, like, like like, it's never really gone to me. Talk wow. about the quality of the soil and what's in the soil, and but yeah. like what's under the soil is a shitload of gold. Like it's really rich earth. There's a lot going on there, and where there's gold, there's other stuff. You know, other could be, could be how the soil sort of rogues. A lot of it's like alluvial gold for sure. So like maybe That's, it's yeah, like that would be my thought: is the alluvial nature of the soil leading for fertility, so people will just plant stuff and it yeah. grows well. So then they naturally plant. Mm. Mm. So what I'm hearing is we should go to some of the most prestigious vineyards in Australia and rip them up and go gold pan. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the takeaway from this? I like it. But uh, the well, they, they try doing it here in Adelaide Hills. They tend to not like it when you come into wine regions and start mining. Yeah, <laughs> no, not, not, not heaps, <laughs> not heaps. Yeah, but yeah, but, that's just something I because like I find the Australian gold rush super fascinating, mm. and I think it's really really interesting. And I was just thinking about where all because i've started looking into adelaide hills gold because Hmm. there's it it was a thing thing. so the property that we just bought in forest range was mined for gold and they mined back in i think it was like it finished in 1910 and they tried redoing it in 1930 yeah Um, but in 1910 they extracted 17 million aussie dollars from the 50 acres that we own yeah which is like Significant amounts of gold. Pretty significant yeah. amount of yeah, money yeah, yeah. just in general. Handorf as well. Yeah. Woodside, heaps of gold in Woodside. Yeah. Like a cra- like there was a full on gold mine in Woodside. Yeah, yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's mines. So there's something like um, it's 200 or 300 mining shafts through the northern Adelaide Hills, like from Woodside North. Mm. Yeah, it's very crazy. heavily gold mined. So yeah, I was just looking at this map of all the wine regions in Australia and went, this map looks sort of familiar, and it's exactly the same as a map of all the gold fields in Australia. Speaking of who gets the gold though, because like, firstly, when we started this whole draft thing, it was just like, this would be kind of fun to do and it mm. ended up being really fun. I have a lot of fun yeah. doing it. Yeah, it was a good great. time. 
Turns out the audience really has a lot of fun doing this as well because it's like <laughs> I love that dude. Yeah, power man. move, comfy. <laughs> Don't even see Laura anymore. Yeah. Um, Get like your feet out of my face. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like genuinely sort of surprised with how like much interest the audience has had in it and how much engagement. So thank you. For sure. Um, mm. But it's like how <laughs> how many seasons? How many? Like how is <laughs> Do you do, do? Are we doing like twenty drafts, ten drafts, best of ten, best of? Or are we just continually doing bragging rights? Currently, Lockie's got one win on the board. I've got one, looking like mm. one win, unless everyone raids Noah's votes. Yeah, um, we're gonna have to keep going until we do one that I feel confident in, and that's gonna be <laughs> a long is, time. <laughs> I can't come up with draft ideas forever. No, I'm only the, the audience needs to chip in a little so, bit. So if the audience would like to, you tell us what you would like us to draft because I've come up with three ideas now and I'm maxed out. <laughs> and honestly, this is this is the bonus about supporting a YouTube channel. Real deep got. well. I'm absolutely, do you know what? I'm full of gold, not full of ideas. Mm. And it's the advantage about following a YouTube channel that's only got like eight and a half thousand subs. Like, if you comment it, it's a pretty good we'll chance we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, like, don't we'll sit do because, it. like, whenever <laughs> I'm watching a YouTube video and they're like, comment below what you want us to do next, I'm like, you're not going to read that comment. We'll read your comment. We will, we will <laughs> absolutely read your comment. Will. We're small enough to read every comment. 100%. They're all exciting <laughs> and new to us. Um, all right. So let's read out the um, what, who's got what. <laughs> let's recap. Sorry. Took an absolute tangent with the gold thing. I just wanted to say it while it was on the tip of my head. I love gold. I love um, gold. But yeah, anyway. So gold, if, Jerry. If anyone out there is, is a geologist... Uh, and can give us some sort of answer potentially, or if this mm. is something that's never been thought of, and this is an original thought, which is rare because I don't have many of those. Um, this is something we could look into. I might have National the code. Geographic hit me up. Mm. Call me. Um, anyway, uh, Aussie Regents, Brendan, we've got. This is a shit hot lineup, dog. <laughs> like, this I'm is, pretty proud this of this one. Sick. I'm pretty proud of this Tasmania, one. Tasmania, yeah. Margaret River, Mornington Peninsula, Beechworth. That is a slutty That's, lineup. No, 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 is, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is pretty red hot. That is pretty red hot. Mm. It's really good. If someone said classic Australian wine. Yeah. And not then, necessarily. No, not necessarily. No, that'd no, be no. that'd be like Barossa, no, no, no. Claire, no, no. Eden, Kunawara. No one picked Kunawara. I'm talking classic now. Modern classic. Modern classics. Margs would be up there for sure. For sure. Beechworth Margs probably up there. The Beechworth. Yeah. yeah. Tasmania. 100%. Like the thing the, the thing that's exciting about Tasmania is you're gonna make so much money in like fifteen to twenty years. <laughs> Playing right, the long now. game. Gonna make that Chang Chang. Mm. Whereas Kangaroo Island will probably either be burnt to a crisp or underwater. Uh, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Floodplains, easy irrigation. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. think science has really real gotten salty to the, I don't think, to Yeah, one. I don't think anyone's gotten to the bottom of whether you can irrigate vineyards with salt water or not. I'm gonna be one of those people that finds out one way or the other. <laughs> yeah. um, real pioneer. Real pioneer yeah. sort of stuff. So alongside Kangaroo Island, you've also got the Adelaide Hills, Tick. Hunter Valley, mm. Langmont Creek. Jeez. Straight up, I don't know anything about the Hunter there. Valley. It just looked like a recognisable name and I didn't want to say the Barossa. You're definitely going to sure. get all the East Coast votes for this, though. I feel this is there's like a political sort of spectrum here, mm. like the college vote sort of vibe. Like mm -hmm. you're definitely going to get all of Sydney now. Potentially. And I'm also hoping to grab some of the American votes because they're like, Kangaroo Island? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of party. So I'm so sorry to all the American <laughs> listeners. I don't know what accent that was. I've had too much of this Incredible. lovely Riesling. <laughs> But yeah, Kangaroo Island, it's exactly what you think it's like. Vote for me. <laughs> uh, Noah with Yarra Valley. Nice. McLaren Vale. Nice. Macedon Ranges in Gippsland. Jeez. Which it's, is very it, strong. The only problem is that it's, it's very similar to Brendan's as far as like feel. It's it's slightly, slightly worse. worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Brendan's like less affluent cousin. Yeah. He's Dude, still great. A lot of people shop at Aldi, though. He's still a lot great. Of, a lot of people it's, shop at Aldi. I love Temu. It's Wish different. it all works. It's good. It's different. Yeah. No, I've got more versatility than Brendan. That's the joy that mm, I have mm -hmm, in my mm -hmm. back pocket. Like, when it gets a little bit warmer, I'm sorted. Yeah. But, For sure. Uh, 
So I got more versatility, but yeah, no. Nah, and then uh, if you're a uh, if you if you really like Riesling, you'll really like my lineup. My my prediction is that I'm gonna win, and you're gonna come a close shave second. There's a lot of Riesling fans out there in the community. It's because Riesling is the best wine. It's also because we have a lot of Germans, courtesy of KB's collaboration, that follow us. Thank and I think you. they're just going to vote for Riesling no matter what. One mm. vote for me is a vote for Riesling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's it's, a why I- <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong platform to run on. I'm not going to lie. It's a strong platform. That's why I've got Claire Valley, home to some of the best Rieslings in the world. And Shiraz Malbec. Uh, as well. It does some really yeah. good other stuff. Got I had a really good, great golf course I, in Claire. I had great a really course. good Mandarin yeah. Bolina Vice at Pikes. The um, the the uh, mango lassi at the servo there. Mm. Great servo curry. Oh, Second to you none. Is unbelievable. You know what I'm talking about. And the bakery the there does a yeah. really good Amazing. gluten-free No one knows pie. what's up. I think it's really funny that sometimes like, we'll come up with an idea for the channel and you'll go like, yeah, what's the global relevance of that idea? <laughs> and you've just shouted out a mango lassie <laughs> at a servo in the middle of South Australia. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you ever get the opportunity, honestly, like if don't worry about Kangaroo mind. Island. Get the mango lassie from the mobile outside <laughs> of Claire, mate. Drag, into Claire honestly, and mate. Then, and the, the first service station you hear, just like you see, just before you get into the Claire Valley, go there, mango lassie. But, it's right next to the. Is it? Is it called the Vineyard School? Like it's right, like as you yeah. pull in on the right hand side, mate. You you don't know if you never go because seriously, so this curry it. is shit hot. It, it yeah, fucks. it fucks. This curry fucks. <laughs> Do I mean, they do like a vegan mango lassi? Because hundred percent. Oh really? Yeah, hundred percent. Sure? Yeah. Oh shit! Because I don't want to yeah. shit my pants, but I Dude, really want to try this. This is elite. Oh, it is so it, hidden gem. A vote for me is a vote for a mango lassi. We <laughs> should take a shitload of gavurts up there and see if we can try and pair it to servo curries. Hmm. Global relevance, Henry. <laughs> global relevance. Uh, and global relevance is why I've followed my Claire Valley pick with Eden Valley for more Riesling. Oh, hey, God. You, just like you had Wendery, you've got Henschke as well. You Dude. Got, you got, you got some low key fucking players, man. Yeah, that is man. Like, like these guys are out of the way. Everyone associates Hensch Henschke with Barossa, but no, 100% Eden, mate. Eden Valley. Yeah. And you got, the, you got the oldest Shiraz vineyard in Australia that makes the best Shiraz in Australia. That's yes. And it's a really yeah. good thing. I love Shiraz. Mm. Well, you've also you got... Like Killer Grace. You also got likes Killer Grace. Tommy Shawbrook. Sure. You know, if you like into Natty Wine. Uh, Michael Hall is based up there. Um, oh, mate, Agricola. Or yeah. based oh. Eden Valley. Valley. Yeah, man. You got, you got um, Sammy Odie. Dude. Dude. Hectic. Mm. Got yeah. Sorted. Wait, have I... Mate, this, this is a really good pick. <laughs> Hang on, Gemma. We're telling you it's a really good pick. Yeah, oh, shit. It's a really good pick. You've nailed it. You've um, like those two regions are pretty fucking iconic. Yeah. Followed by Great, great Southern. In iconic, WA. like like old school iconic, oldest Dolcetto vines in the world. And that's why I picked it. Duh. Hundred percent. They thought mm. it was Malbec till the seventies. Boy, did they get that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. That's something I would do though. To be honest. Yeah. Winner of the Jimmy Watson in 2011. One of the toughest years, uh, you know, ever. You know, amazing. And then I followed it up with Canberra. Yeah, you got Clonakilla. Dude, oh, Clonakilla. Fireworks, pornography. Yeah, Fishwick. Dude. <laughs> government. <laughs> Politicians. The government. <laughs> Tony Abbott. Roundabouts. Oh, man. <laughs> What so winery, uh, what wine region would Engadine be in? Because I wish I could have picked the Engadine Maccas where Scott uh, Morrison no, shat his be, pants. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want Engadine. That's like Greater Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then I could say I own the wine region where Scott Morrison, sorry, allegedly shat his pants. <laughs> I went in there while we were on tour. Dewa. 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 What's good for the poop is good for the peel. <laughs> I actually was told that once at Orange Well, just outside Mildura. I'm actually hitting it up in a couple of weeks just for the nostalgia. Mm. Um, this old Italian man, I would have been five or six years old, and he's going, the peel, the pee, and the poo. It's good for the citrus. And he's talking about how he pisses and shits on all of the citrus vines. Yeah, that's it. Uh, did they look pretty good? I'm not even lying to you, Gemma. A report just came out saying that urine is good for agriculture. 100%. For sure. Ammonia, for sure. man. Yeah, yeah. Nitrogen. It's, it's, it's really good for citrus trees. Yeah, give me that NH4, motherfucker. Yeah, and mm. we would put all the chicken shit on the citrus as well, and it was fine. But anyway, that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. <laughs> 
Bad Grumps. Thank you so much for watching this draft. Yeah. <laughs> Illy, a vote for me is a vote for Riesling, a vote for Mango Lassies, and a vote for Gold. Mm. Uh, vote one, one wheels more. Fuck, these are unhinged. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you and Paul goodbye. Paul Barossa Valley as well. Yeah, I know, right? Paul Barossa Valley. Thank Kunawara. Don't need him. Paul Forget Riverland. about him. Yeah, Paul Riverland. Yeah, Paul Riverland. There's plenty more to go. But that's why we needed a Lockie. He would have chosen all Poor of those. Poor Adelaide Plains. They deserve Lockie. so much more. Yeah. All right. Ciao, guys. Bye. Nice to see you now. Nice to see you now. Bye. Bye-bye.